Hello. Welcome in to my little lair. We're going to look into whatever comes out here and, and see what spirit wants someone to know. I'm leaving this to the universe to arrange all the magnetism for whoever needs this to see it at the right time. Okay, we've got the four of wands coming out. And what's this affected by spirit? What is this affected by justice? Okay. Okay, so it looks like someone's getting some good karma. It looks like someone's getting something they really want here. Four of Wands energy. This is homecoming, celebration, celebrational events. This is uh, certainly a peak in your experience. This is something good coming in. Let's have a look. Knight of Wands. Okay, so someone could be charging in at you with an offer. Okay, someone who really wants you here. This person's got a lot of lust. All right, this person's uh, full of lust for you. And they've been waiting for you with the hangman. They've been waiting quite a long time. Maybe you've been playing hard to get. <laughs> Maybe you've uh, made someone wait a good old long time. And here we go. The central energy to this reading is the sun card. Happiness coming in for you. Let's have a look. What else? Show me. Six of Pentacles, yeah, they're coming in with a generous offer here. This is someone who wants to take you out, take you abroad, potentially even marry you with the 1111, okay? So this is someone who wants you very badly, all right? I'm hearing you are my sunshine, so you've really lit up someone's life here. And I'm going to clarify this because, I, I mean, even though we've got the Knight of Wands on the table, I don't feel like this is a Knight of Wands. I feel like this is just how desirous they are of you just as i say that ace of swords so someone's got a huge amount of desire for you okay i don't feel like this is a player though i don't feel like this is someone who wants to mess you around i feel like this is someone who wants to uh lock you down you know this is someone who wants to tell the world this is mine i am with this person like they really want you badly there we go empress energy okay so <laughs> Someone sees your value, someone sees your worth, someone recognises you as their divine feminine. Let's have a look, one more. King of Pentacles. See, I told you, I told you, this isn't, uh, this isn't a knight of wands that's coming in to get you. This is just the energy they feel for you. This is just the desire, the lust. This is how fired up you make them. And for the King of Pentacles to get all fired up, it takes one hell of a woman to fire up the king of pentacles so this is someone wealthy this is someone established and this is who someone who wants you to help them run their empire and celebrate life together okay and again like i was saying this person is uh really generous now we've got the ten of swords on here so i feel like you know you might have to end your old life in some sort of way you know, you might have to cut off old situations or, you know, it's the end of the road for your single life. I, I feel like, you know, stuff's going to have to shift here because this person really sees you as the one. And ooh, I feel like you're going to like them. OK, this is someone honest and truthful with the Ace of Swords. OK, I feel like this could be the one that you've been waiting for. Let's have a look. Let's clarify this justice. This is someone honest, fair, truthful. And they see you like clearly. Yeah, look at this. Queen of Wands, okay, they want to give you what you deserve here with the Justice card, okay, this is someone who's like, you know that song, I Can't Help But Wait, okay, Trey Songs, I think he is, this is someone who, you know, wants to treat you properly and treat you well, and I feel like they're so grateful if you are single, I feel like they're really grateful that you're single, I feel like this is someone who's going to be so grateful that all these silly little boys, all these silly little waste men and fuck boys i feel like they're really going to be grateful that those idiots didn't get to lock you down because they get to right so they're going to be like making sure they treat you better than anyone else could possibly have ever treated you because they see your value in a way that no one else has let's have a look at this four of wands yeah four of cups this is going to take you away from any disappointments see there's something about this person hating the fact that anyone you've dated before has ever treated you badly or not recognized you as the empress this person really is like a real man here with the king of pentacles someone who's really got their shit together and they're going to charge in quickly because they don't want anyone else getting hold of you they really like whew, i feel like they feel, they feel like you know you're this precious being and they can't understand how no one else has snapped you up you know Three of Wands, yeah, you're the one they've been waiting for here. You're the one they, you're the one that they want. Okay, I'm getting that song off of that movie. Ooh, 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 honey. 
Go on, go on, go on. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And here we go. Ten of Cups. You're the one they've been waiting for. This person doesn't get off their throne for just anybody, okay? This person's getting up off their throne and putting effort in, in for you. They're not going to do that for anybody else. They haven't done this for anyone else. They don't want anyone else. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, like, I feel like you've been waiting too, okay? Being disappointed by other people. You know how it is. You know, let's not go into the past. But they see you as radiant. Oh, this is my favourite Queen of Wands card. This beautiful kitty. Look how radiant she is with these fireworks. So this person's going to totally put you on a pedestal. This person is going to totally want to, like, give you the whole shebang. This is, like, family, potentially children, especially with the sun card energy. So this is a new radiant thing. And I'm hearing that you've kept yourself positive throughout everything. And, you know, the universe has been watching, okay? And the universe is, like, bringing you and this person smack together you can even bump into this person like literally you know like on a movie when you when you see them banging into each other and something drops on the floor and they both go to pick it up at the same time this is kind of like that sort of energy why are they giving me the word kismet i'm not sure what that means but normally when spirit gives me a word i haven't got any clue what it means it is 100 percent accurate so kismet is that some sort of synchronicity thing in relationships probably okay the full card yes They've been waiting patiently. This King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. It's definitely someone wealthy. It's definitely someone organised. It's definitely someone who hmm, isn't too impressed with the other females they come across. But they're impressed with you. Okay, they're really impressed with you. We've got the full card. They want a whole new world with you. And they really want to make sure they take you off the market. This is someone who doesn't want anyone else having you. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune, they're going to feel like this is destiny, you and them getting together. It's going to be some sort of fate involved. It's going to be some sort of, you know, something that's going to happen here. We've got the death card. So this relationship is going to totally transform both of your lives. But also I feel like it's going to transform the way you see yourself because this person's going to project so much love onto you. They're going to really, you know, let you know you're the empress. I feel like they're really going to elevate they're really going to elevate the way you see yourself because you're just going to feel so much love and devotion from this person. And uh, yeah, I feel like if you never considered marriage before, they are that sort of person. They are a marriage kind of person. So I feel like it's going to shift the way you see things, you know? I feel like you're, you're going to realize like, okay, maybe I do want something traditional here. Maybe I do want to settle down with just one person. Maybe I can trust one person. Maybe the modern day crap isn't, you know, maybe it's not so good after all, you know what I mean? Ace of Cups. I feel like you're going to have your own little world, okay? And again, this is like a beach, you know? This Ace of Cups is coming out on the sun card. So this is like a honeymoon. I feel like this person's got enough money so that you could literally never work again in your life, okay? And just live life every day like it's a holiday. We've got a lot of, like, holiday cards here. With this Ten of Cups and this Ace of Cups and the Sun card. So I feel like this person doesn't want you having to do anything you don't want to do, you know. It's not that they want to trap you. It's that they want to put you on a throne and keep you there. They want to put you on a pedestal. They want you to see yourself as the most valuable woman in the world here. Okay, so no, they don't want to tie you to the kitchen sink or, or any of that stuff. They want to create a heaven on earth for you. They want you to live in paradise. And they want you to know how valuable you are. Okay, we've got the hanged man. Let's see what else. Nine of wands. Okay, this person's really protective. Okay, this person's really protective. Your higher self is saying go for this. Okay, because I feel like, you know, your ancestors have been convening. You see all these cats, they're all in a little circle, in a temple. This is like your ancestors... Yeah, I'm getting that kismet again. This is your ancestors conspiring to get you in the right place at the right time. And it's going to shift your perspective. And again, look at this cat. This cat's being elevated. It's, it's levitating off the ground. It's moving up into dreamier realities. So your ancestors are saying, you know, be friendly. Okay, this one's not like the rest. Okay, this one's kind. This one's traditional. This one knows how to treat a woman. Okay, and this one's honest with the justice and the ace of swords. This, this is a real honest, uh, beautiful, wealthy, ooh, respectful, protective, honourable man. And he's not going to let anyone else get you, okay, because he wants you. 
Okay, five of pentacles coming out here. So maybe you've seen other people live in the lifestyle that this person wants to give you. And maybe you never thought that would happen to you. Okay, maybe you've dealt with idiots in the past and you just didn't think it could happen. But look at this. We are going from the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. What did I say? This person wants you to live in heaven. They want you to have all the loot, all the treasures. They want you to be perfectly happy. Mind, body and soul. They want you emotionally healthy, physically healthy, spiritually happy. They want you to literally share in their wealth with them, okay? Ace of Swords energy, victory, clarity, abundance. They want this for you. Show me this Empress. Show me. Eight of Wands. Yeah, things could move really quickly. The Eight of Wands is the falling in love card traditionally so i feel like you could be falling in love with this person really quickly they could be falling in love with you really quickly i'm, I'm hearing that don't break my heart you be 40 oh such a nice song don't break my heart you know i thought like your person they come across really strong here but you know men actually feel emotions deeper than we do apparently who would have thought it eh it's hard sometimes putting things into words when you feel emotions so deeply your person could be like the strong, silent type. I feel like they just kind of sit back and watch the world. But you make them move, okay? You make them get moving. You make them feel alive again. You're like the one who's triggered off the dynamite here, okay? And they're turning into dynamite and they're coming after you. They could be a Leo. Could be a Leo here. But uh, let's get one more. King of Cups. So their devotion to you is going to be so strong here. We've got the star energy on the bottom of the deck, okay? Look how this cat is looking up to this lion, you know? And I feel like this is blessed by the ancestors. This is something that the ancestors, your ancestors want to happen. They want you to have this victory, six of wands energy. They want you to be treated like a precious queen, like a precious empress. And we've got consequences, which is justice again, okay? So I feel like you've waited for the right one and now the right one's coming, and again, they're going to really shift your viewpoint here, okay? If you've been struggling for money, anything like that, they know you're too good for that, okay? They know you deserve to live a lavish lifestyle, yeah. Healthy choices, yeah. So Spirit wants you to take this healthy choice, okay? There's something about being part of a tribe with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. It's about being part of a family, okay? So they don't want you doing the modern day thing and like rejecting this person for some petty reason some petty modern day reason or whatever this is passion all right insane chemistry yeah and that's where i was getting this energy off this knight of wands this person doesn't normally do this man but you like the dynamite in their soul this person doesn't normally go after women like this in fact i feel like this person is normally quite disappointed with women but you are different okay engagement ring you are different okay this is uh this is something that's definitely been been arranged by the universe. This is something that your ancestors want you to make the right choice on. And ascending. There's that elevation again. There's that being raised off the ground. There's that going from the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. Okay, going from the four of cups to the ten of cups. Going from disappointments to pure happiness, bliss, happily ever after. You will never have to struggle again financially or otherwise with this person. This is someone who really wants to lock you down, okay? Completion, union, eternity, commitment. No way, spirit. No way. Look at this. Wedding rings, union, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. This person's devoted, okay? This person's really devoted and really, uh, they cherish you. I'm getting the word cherish, this person might have to be encouraged to express themselves, like once you're together in a relationship, okay? Because again, they're used to being like the strong, silent type, okay? They're used to being on their own. They're not used to being in a relationship, I don't feel. This is someone who just focuses on business. This is someone who, I'm hearing that they didn't realize they were building their life up and building their money up and building their business up for you. But it's like as soon as they see you, they're gonna feel like, this is the second time this card's come out when I'm shuffling. They're going to feel like they've been separated from you their whole life. And when they see you, when you light that dynamite up in their soul, bang, you know? They feel like you've always been with them spiritually. 
but they're just meeting you in the physical okay so this could definitely be like a soulmate thing because this person's going to feel like they recognize you they're going to feel like they just have to go after you they're going to feel like you're their star you're their empress okay so wow this is beautiful let's have a look what else show me show me one more keys on a ring sunglasses hmm, hmm, hmm. yeah you may have observers okay you may have people observing this girl talk okay yeah that's what i thought it could be some girlfriends or whatever that aren't too happy about this okay so ten of swords some some stuff might have to come to an end for this for this gorgeous relationship let's pull some oracles and see what happens i feel like you could have maybe a karmic girlfriend a karmic friendship in your life and uh, they're gonna show themselves yeah the never-ending story let's have a look waiting for love it's like that story is ending here yeah you've got an observer here okay a karmic observer okay this will be a friendship i feel with the girl talk someone that you know flexibility so saying be flexible with your friendships here because not everyone's going to be happy for you unfortunately treasure island yeah that's what i'm thinking milk and honey on the bottom of the deck okay so just be aware don't let anyone distract you from this beautiful love opportunity but just be aware that there are going to be some bitchier uh, maybe you've got a karmic uh you know friend in your life that will reveal their true colors when this comes in okay anyway i hope i've given someone the heads up about this situation because it's looking really good and uh enjoy it enjoy it Mwah.